Find the base given the volume and the height. This is another example of one of those problems where we're going to work backwards to find the base, which in this case is the radius, given the volume and the height. So let's read the problem. If the volume of a cone is 660 cubic feet, what is the missing length? Round your, your answer to the nearest hundredth. So I'm going to underline that because that's very important to know what we're rounding to. First thing I want to do is set up my volume formula for a cone. Volume of a cone is one-third times pi r squared times h. In looking at the picture, I know the h, the height of the cone is 10 feet. I know the volume of the cone is 660 feet cubed. And I'm looking for, oh sorry, I'm looking for the radius rather, not the height. Let me just get rid of those lines there. Let's go ahead and plug in the information we know. We know that the volume is 660. We know that we're using pi equals approximately 3.14. We know the radius, r squared, is what we're solving for. And lastly, the height is 10 feet. So if I multiply 1 third by 3.14 by 10 and then divide it by 660, I get 63.06 equals the radius squared. And because this clearly is not a perfect square, I'm going to need my calculator to find the square root of 63.06. And that equals approximately 7.94. And that's the radius. The radius is 7.94 feet. And I'm just going to write radius right below.